Amen. 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 Okay, God gave me a word. Now, this word is specifically for the believers, um, the brothers of the faith, the brethren. Now, specifically for those who heard words time after time and after time about how they're going to be prosperous. You've heard words that you're going to be wealthy, that you're favored and you're prosperous. To you who have heard these words, forget about them. Forget about them completely and shelve them and begin to work. Work, work, work. You know, God spoke to me and he said to me, Ingrid, I have given you the ability, the ability to create wealth. He has given us the power to create wealth. You know, I was, I was in a muddle of confusion and I was like, God, I want to seek ye first the kingdom. I don't want to serve mammon. I don't want to serve money. But then God told me that, you know what? I want you to create wealth. There is nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with creating wealth. In fact, it is God's desire that you would create wealth. He doesn't want you to serve it, but he wants you to create it. It is part of his divine purpose for you to be wealthy. It is an absolute shame for a believer to lack. And you know what? God started to speak to me and he started reminding me of the things that he has already given us to create wealth. You know, God says that he has given you all that you need pertaining to life, pertaining to life and godliness. He started speaking to me and was like, Ingrid, he reminded me, first of all, there is a great man of God who I need to acknowledge, even as he has said, that we should give honor to whom honor is due. His name is Dr. John Stanko, and he's got an excellent seminar on Purpose Quest. One time he sat me down and he said to me, um, it's not hard to find out what your purpose is. He said to me, you need to just sit down and you need to ask yourself, be honest with yourself. What is it that makes me sad? And what is it that makes me really angry? What makes you happy? Sit down and be honest with yourself. You know, a lot of people just need to sit down and you need to stop being honest with yourself. Forget religion. Some of you are anointed to sing. Some of you are anointed to be models on the catwalk. I see these girls a lot in the church. Even brothers, you tell them they can put together um, outfits like Michelangelo. They walk around. They want to show themselves. But you know what? They can be doing that on the runway, creating wealth. Some people are anointed florists. Some of the things, they're not conventional. But God's not religious. God's not put you in a box. God's a creative being and he's put creativity inside of you. Look at the guy that Walt Disney. He became so wealthy and so famous because of a mouse. What is the idea that God has given you that seems small? Don't despise yourself. Don't compare yourself with anybody. You know, forget what religion has taught you. Forget what um, society has placed upon you. What is it that you like doing? Ask yourself this question. Be honest with yourself. Do you like your life? If there is someone who is supposed to like their life, in fact, love their life, it is you. It is you. You are meant to love your life. Jesus died on the cross so that you would enjoy your life, that you would have life to the full. Do you love your life from basic things, small things? Do you love the clothes you wear? Do you like the place that you stay? Do you love that place? Do you love the food that you eat? Do you love the people that you see? Do you love the places you go? What is it that you want out of life? Some of you want to travel. You want to go across the world. You want to go to the States. You want to go to Australia. You want to go to New Zealand. You want to go to India. What is it that you're doing about those things? What plans do you have in place? What goals have you set for yourself? What kind of people are you associating with? Who do you allow to speak into your life? Is it garbage in and garbage out? 
Do you like yourself? You need to like yourself. Some of the things that some of you speak to yourself, your self-talk is awful. Ask yourself this question. If you were friends, if you, you knew yourself as another person, you knew yourself, would you be friends with that person? The things that they say about you. Would you be friends with that person? What are the things you say about yourself, your self-talk? What do you meditate upon? Do you think you're a loser? You need to start encouraging yourself again. You need to encourage yourself again. Sit down, be honest, forget everybody, forget expectations. Forget your parents' expectations even. Some of you have been forced to be accountants. You don't like accounting. But then there are some of you who like numbers. You like numbers? Do it. Do it. Do something. Do something with the numbers. Do something. Some of you are excellent homemakers. Some of you are excellent chefs. Some of you are excellent and you're men. Go for it. Who says that you have to be a woman to do certain things? You know, God says there is neither male nor female. Some of you are, are excellent. You're eloquent. You have the gift of the gab. When you speak, people listen to you. You have the gift of, of inspiration. Speak to people. Encourage people. Hey, who says Oprah Winfrey has to be the only amazing woman talk show host? Go for it. Even if you're a man, go for it. Do it. Do the thing that you love. Love your life. Embrace life. You know, so everybody's had a sob story. Everybody's had something tragic which has happened to them. You know what? In love, I am telling you, get over it. Get over it. The grace of God has lifted you out of that funk. Everybody's got a sob story. Everybody has a sad story. But it is time for you to move on. You have the power. You have the ability inside of you to change your story. I'm speaking to that giant inside of you. I am speaking to that hero inside of you. I am speaking to that great man, to that great woman of God, that amazing entrepreneur, that businessman, that businesswoman, that singer, that artist. There are things that need to be created that have not been created before. Those witty inventions, I am speaking to you. Arise, awaken dream. It doesn't matter how old you are. There are some people in their 60s who think that their dreams are buried. I'm speaking life to those dreams. If your parents nurture those children, speak life to them. If your child is a musician and they love to sing, allow them to sing. Let them go to school. Develop those talents. Don't put people in boxes. And you know what? Don't put yourself in a box. Don't be familiar with yourself. There are things inside of you. There are gifts that you do not know about. And allow God to start bringing those things out. Live life. Love life. Jesus died that you would have life and life more abundantly. There is so, so much to you than what meets the eye. And you're going to manifest all those amazing gifts, all those amazing talents that God has given you. You're going to enjoy your life. You're going to laugh. You're going to enjoy the person that God has called you to be. Because you know what? You are an original. You are God's best. And you got two options. To succeed or to succeed. And guess what? Your story has already been written. And you are a success. God bless you big time.